So today who's gonna to present this this guy is there. He's not a little bit. Alright, uh, who's gonna to present today? Someone wants to initiate. Hello. Hello. Dharni, Giri Dharan, Tirumurugan, Malni, who wants to go ahead and share his screen map. Yeah, okay. Uh, Okay, so instead of uh, let's have this Python so that everyone can clear on that. So, do you know program is .com? It's an online compiler where you can go and compile your Pythons. Let me share that. Yes. Sorry? Uh, Green and UI is breaking. Can you hear me? Yeah, uh, it's like, uh, I can hear you, but it's not clear because it seems like uh, your fan is running. Uh, Yeah, it's good now. Instead of that, you can use uh, the one which I have sent you on the chat, the link. It's going to clearly tell us how to execute. It's an online compiler. You can use this guy. Yeah. Yeah. So all right. Uh, before we could get started, just wanted to get an update from you. Yes, please. Uh, I do have five chart. Is it okay to exit or? Sorry, what is it? You do have? I have five chart. So instead, we can use it or is it okay to use online topic? Either is okay for me, but. Uh, Rest of the persons they might have not have that, so that's the reason I wanted to use the common one as an online campaign, so that everyone can go and work on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, what happened to the uh, POC or a homework given to you all? Is all done? Is all completed with that? In the last session, which I took on something called functions, code props, I wanted you to go and. Do that and see how it works. I'm not sure how many of you have done that, not done that, still have questions on that. <laughs> or anyone have any questions on that? Is that still you have doubt on that?
Kreis. So I can take it uh, consideration that the people have understood on the SQL part of functions, procedures, etc. If you have any questions, please let me know before I could move to the next topic. Yes, sir. I have no doubt, sir. Right. Okay. Rest. Rest. First thing is like I forgot to ask you the feedback. Let's have the feedback at the end of the session. I'm just I'm not sure whether you are. Are you able to understand what I am uh, explaining for the entire session? Is that is understandable for you, or am I very fast on that? Sir, sir, I am not used to. Uh, talk in English too much. That's why I can't understand it easily. That's difficult to understand. Thank you, sir. sir so, so yeah. You are difficult to understand. Okay. So, uh, Jason, uh, the one thing which I suggest is like uh, try uh, looking into the recording part again. Again, if still you are not able to understand, come back and let me know that I can explain you uh, so that you can understand. Okay. Okay, sir. Right. Hope uh, all of you got your last session recording part. Did yes, all sir. people got the last session? Yes, okay. So, hope you have all gone through all that. And so, so far, I believe no doubts, no uh, clarifications required on the existing sessions, right? Let me get into that. I thought. Yeah. Yes, right. sir, yes. Awesome. So Python. So we have seen a basic a startup on last session. What is a Python and why where we need to use it. Right? Can someone summarize what we have taken in the last session on the Python part? Can someone summarize? What is Python? Why we need to use? Where we need to use? And what is the advantage of it? Just four things. Yes, Giri. Yeah, uh, Python is a scripting language. Uh, like we, uh, we can you easily adopt with Python. Uh, some other language like uh, for using data science and for using software developer too. Uh, like it can easily adapt towards the front end as as well as the back end. Front end as well as the back end, okay. And what, what is the major advantage of using a Python? It's open source, okay. Then what is the major advantage? When we say it's an, it is an open source, what is the major advantage? It's easy to learn. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, so it's a platform independent. So we can run Python anywhere across the OS. So it's not that the Python has to run only on the Windows or any yeah. Linux or only on Mac. It yeah. can run in any of the OS. And it's it's the compiler is like it dual with any of the language. It's not a platform sir, dependent it, language. Or, sorry. It, sir, it it has very less compact code, sir. Code lines sir. very less. Yeah, okay. Yes. Come. So very easy to learn. Even to tell that 
easy to learn okay easy to understand and easy to co code code development is code, code development is speed sir code development is speed yes so five 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 region the five region should be python learn uh very easy to learn uh, code development speed reset of library and use heavily as a as a data science machine learning scientific computing plenty of job opportunities plenty of job opportunities okay yes okay uh, by using a python what we can develop what and all we can develop We can develop a software and we can yes, go for data science. It will, yes. We can use for a so yeah. Yes. We can it. also create a web page. Yeah, web applications, any kind of web applications we can create as we said. Really? And yeah, okay. All right. Let's see uh, what can be done through the Python. So, what we see is like initially we get started on the Python, and we we'll start learn on the Python variables. What are the Python variables? How to declare a variable? Here. So, hope I believe that everyone would have read, or everyone would have gone through the C concepts. I'm not asking about the C++. You would have gone through C, a normal how to write a functions, how to declare a functions, all those things. I believe on that. So how to declare the variables? Do anyone know how we can declare the variable? Any declaration of the variable should work. How will you declare? It's not a mandatory that you have to declare a variable. It's a separate standard of uh, declaring a variable Python. It doesn't mean at all. Any uh, language yes. you use, yeah, you can go and uh, type it directly uh, on the online uh, compiler. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. We'll create How to declare a variable. variable. We can create a variable name for a variable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We'll just take. A var equal to a variable name we can declare as a number like 12. Instead, we can use a string. Okay. Uh, it can be anything, right? The letter type can be anything integer, string, float, array, uh, anything. It can be anything. Okay. My question is when you declare a variable, there is a something a standard which is commonly followed irrespective of the language. What is that? The first letter or the first character which starts is that has to be capital or is that has to be small? Uh, sorry. Yeah. So make sure that first character or a letter which you get started that should be small. Then the second word which starts, if you can have the first letter as a capital, however you want it. Let's say if I yeah. wanted to name this. Uh, yeah, let's say you have a two uh, words. The first word of the first character has to be small. Okay, there is a concept called the camel cascading and the pascal cascading. Yeah. If anyone we can, what is that? First letter. Yeah. There is a concept. While declaring a variable, we can use uh, first letter of the uh, small case, and uh, we can use it as this. The rest will be on uppercase and we can use uh, while separating a variable name we can use underscore for uh, two variable names okay. to declare you are right awesome. so you have declared a one of the variable and what you have done it done is like you have assigned it right yeah there sure. value to, to, to name yeah. you have assigned a value to a variable and now I wanted to see uh, see what you have assigned to the variable that needs to be printed out. For that, what you will be using it? That is one of the statement. I will be using print. it. Print. Excellent. 
see the okay. reason for asking you is like you people would have read c concepts in your childhood or in your college without learning a c you may would have not gone to c++ topic so in c we will be using something called printf scanf a similar kind of a concept is yeah, used yeah. here as a print see it's this python language is more very very lightweight and easier to understand than the c language okay it's a very straightforward uh, all syntax is a very straightforward where you, anyone can learn it and easily implement yes now can you run this guy on the yeah, top sure. you have run the moment you go and yeah. click on that yeah. you can see an output over here as print what you have printed is you have assigned a variable and you wanted to get the output from the variable as back and what you have assigned the variable var equal to name that will be printed here instead of name if i go and as if i go and put something like a number let's say remove the string and add just a number any numbers okay just print it there you go so if any variable you go and assign it any variable you go and assign it and the value assigned to that variable if you wanted to see the result of it you have to use a concept called print all right yes sir yeah so now what i wanted you to do is like just assign a variable very simple simple you can remove this all okay you can yeah remote you can say it as uh, a comma b comma c equal to uh you can put 1 uh, 3 uh, like multi multiple yeah assigning a value to a multiple variable exactly so the what we have seen at the early is like assigning a value to a single variable if i as if i wanted to assign multiple values to multiple variables there are two ways of doing it i can go and assign like a equal to b a multiple way of assigning a variable so we have to be very clear multiple way of assigning a variable is like having all the variables in a single statement and assign assigning that variable values with a single statement equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 now print can it get off individually you can print it so that uh, they, that will be very clear for that no uh, you can put print a print b print c they can see the output of the value what how the value gets assigned individually see i'm i'm just telling you the very basic concepts because i don't want to get into the advantage i mean advanced concepts of it and just jump into that and tell you that how this is how the pred operations work that's a very easy case i wanted you people to understand the comparison between when you use your c and your python concepts so i believe that everyone would have gone through with the c concepts it's very similar to that but it's a lighter weight of uh, python so it's very very easy to understand that's the reason yeah now you can see here the variable what we have assigned in a single statement the multiple variables which we assign with the multiple values in a single statement we can print it individually it automatically assigns based on the arrays so a will be automatically assigned with the first value of 1 b will be assigned with the second value of 2 and c will be assigned with the last value of 3 okay now if i wanted it's not that mandatory that i have to have only the numbers instead of that you can go and replace with a string you can replace any any string yeah yeah now print it you can see here we haven't declared saying anywhere the data type of a what it is the data type of b what it is the data type of c what it is we just declared a variable 
and we have told we have given we have assigned the value of the variable and we try to print it it <coughs> gives what it yeah nowhere we have told that this this particular variable should be an integer this particular variable should be a what is that floor or, or decimal whatever it put is okay what we can do is like uh, you can enter in the new line uh, because uh, you might need to copy all the things at the last yeah you can enter one more given enter okay yeah now so let's see how so currently what we have seen is like we have assigned a single variable multiple variables how to yeah. assign a single variable with multiple values yeah. how we assign it you can put something called uh, a no uh, i wanted single single variable with multiple values Okay. Okay. Y equal to. Open the square bracket. Yeah. Either you can go and assign say one comma two comma three. Or any uh, string values. Okay, that's okay. And you can go and print uh, this value. So what is that you people are seeing here? The value the what we have assigned. Yeah, the list of values. So this this is a concept of assigning multiple values to a single variable. Single variable. Yes. Does that make sense? Nice yeah, it's it's kind of an array where you can add multiple values to it. If it is a number, currently what you have seen, sorry, currently what you have seen is like a number. If it is an array, string string oriented. Have double quotes or a single quotes. So clearly tells that it's a string value. Yes. Right. Yeah. So this is so this is what of declaring multiple ways to the variables. I hope I believe that you people understand that how to declare a variable. Do you do anyone have any questions on declaring a variable and assigning the variable? No, sir. No sir. No sir. Okay, let's let's see now. What I wanted to do is like uh, print a is there, right? So next to the print a, you can enter the value. I mean, enter uh, your uh, cursor yeah. and uh, just print uh, print of a. Comma. In the uh, uh, bracket. Uh, yeah, inside, inside. Right? You are right. You are right. Comma. And you can say that you wanted to find what is the type you have declared. Now, how will you say? Type of. Yes, exactly. You have to say it's a type of. Yeah, it will show us these are the list. So you can see here, I haven't declared anywhere saying like this. What is the data type of the variable A, variable B, or variable C? Okay. We also see one more thing. So instead of you have did something called uh, print A, right? So instead of uh, Python, Java, and SQL, just give one, two, three. 
Okay. You can remove the square bracket and you can have the open brace and close brace. Okay, then it will be tapered. Yeah, now you can run this guy. It will be tapered. Yeah. So now the data type has changed completely. Remove all the three and have only one variable. I mean one value. So that is in awesome. Yes. So you can see here what how it works is like an inbuilt function which is called automatically when we go and assign a variable. So how it works is like it's a predefined classes written already. When I say predefined classes, what is that predefined class? In C concepts, on the top, you will go something and say an header section. You will put something called ash include. What is that? I'm talking about C, not the Python. In Python, you will be using similar like a Java import concept. What is the use of having import or ash include or whatever, whatever we call it as? Functions or even something. Um, no. Addition, subtraction, something like we need to add. We have to. No. If we need to use this a const concept, uh, we can use import to use the concept. Like uh, numpy, concept import numpy. Concept I said What's like header. No, you said I would a concept, right? What is that concept? Yeah. You are inheriting something on the header part. What is that? Have you heard something called library? Yeah, I see. It's we call it as a predefined library. What is a predefined okay. library? It is. So when we go and declare on the top or import, saying like import or ash include, what we are doing is we are utilizing the inbuilt library functions, which is already written. We are going and getting and inherited with the class which is already written. So, yeah. if you wanted to utilize the predefined classes or predefined libraries, you need to go and say on the header section, say like import, or you need to go and say something called ash include, so that that particular class get invoked. Without invoking the class, you cannot go and inherit, right? You have public protected yeah. internal and all the stuffs. That is called an access specifies. Hope you remember all this, or just by I'm brushing it. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions? No, no. no. Okay. Um, I wanted also to show you. Okay, what you can do is like <laughs> um, copy that line number six. Uh, in the new line, line number nine, okay, put it and uh, use the square bracket what you have utilized in the previous one and just go and type something uh, string a equal to yeah, square bracket inside this in simple quotes put something whatever you wanted. Add just three strings. Okay. And yeah. In the next line put B okay. equal to open the bracket and put it as one, two, three. One comma two comma three. And uh, the next line, put it as C, open a curly brace. Open a curly brace and add uh, A, uh, comma B, comma C. Curly brace. No, no. See, in, in line number, line number 10, you need to use open bracket and close bracket, not this bracket. 
the difference is there when you use different kind of brackets yeah in line number 11 you need to use curly braces flower bracket yes. yeah. okay so a comma b comma c okay plus don't add the sum so yeah now go and have the print a print b and print c let's see what it does print a print a next line print b next line print c okay no it was an error Oh, uh, what is that? Line number 11, huh? Yeah. Uh, the reason is when you use a curly bracket and you have just given a character, it's a single okay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So, now, I wanted you to add the uh, type of for uh, <coughs> Print A, B, and C. Yeah. It's B. And it's C. Can you all see the difference? when we use the different brackets so yeah, I see. yeah. When line number nine when we stated one two and three it's a list and the same thing we have used as a common bracket it's a tuple and when we used a curly brace then it says it's a set a difference of data types can you see it here yeah, yes. Yes. All right. Apart from else, uh, apart from Giri, do anyone have any questions? You can unmute and you can ask the questions if you have. No one have questions, so I can take it uh, granted that uh, is, is everyone is able to understand it. I people able to yeah, okay. Fine. In the line number 15, just have a new cursor. Okay. Okay. Now what I wanted is like you can use print of A. Okay. Print of A. So now you are going to declare as a very, I mean, as an array. Inside a square bracket, you need to put zero. Yeah, this is uh, slicing, right? Yeah, L just run it. Sliding, sli yeah, we can call it as a slicing, but what exactly index. it is? Yes. We yeah, it is are. Index, yeah. 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 We are using the concepts of zift. We call it as sorry. We we are call it as an index. So we are finding the first item of that particular array to be displayed. If you want any of the array item to be displayed, you have to use the index value. That the index value starts from zero. That makes sense. Yeah, yes. Yes. So when you use zero, it is printing the zeroth index of the value when you use one then it's going to go and print the first index of the first value. value yeah does that make sense for all see okay. i'm giving a sample quick example on each of the things to differentiate how an array can be declared how a variable can be declared and how the data types itself takes it and how the data types if we wanted to change we Okay, 
So anyone have any questions on this? Oh. All right. Okay. So, uh, what else we see? Okay. Yeah. Any other have, questions? Sir, I have a little bit doubt. Sir, if we use uh, square bracket on this uh, zero, you know, uh, the 15 lines, print A of uh, square bracket of zero. If we use um, normal brackets, the data will be different. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, Giri, uh, just right. can you go on? Can okay, you? what do you mean to ask is like before, if it, it, why we can't use normal bracket instead of a square bracket? That's your question, Jason, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. I, it before shows I go, an error. Yeah, yeah. Let 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 change uh, grid and let's see. Okay. What it comes. To. Yeah. I chose an error. Yeah. At least okay. object cannot be callable. Yeah. See, Jason. Uh, so anything is declared in array. How? the array is get stored in a memory is like it goes and stores in an index way so first first uh, any value which you have given it goes and stores in the zero first two three and respective okay and when you wanted to print something from the array you have to go and call the index and always index is represented with square brackets that's a syntax of it if you use a normal bracket and your syntax goes wrong, so the compiler doesn't know what to go and call it, but call it off. It's called the object. Is that makes sense? And all the square bracket use pan raerthala. Ninga normal ana bracket use pan ninga na. And the compiler ke teriyaadu. Nam enna kekaranga user endru teriyaadu. So compiler le naar square bracket le da value urkan pa. Abdi da value unda okay ang zero index le first index le kaya trukan da naala da value kudu kono abdi nsi bide. Ande value kaya trukan. Ningu normal bracket kudu kumu mude. Adi naala compile panat teriade. Kita normal bracket le inna kaya trukan teriade. Adi terjadi dalan array ura value zila me square bracket le da na mungkin kuda terongan wait panitu. Ningu adi kudu kara input unda tapa kudu kumu mude. Adi na sollo adi kudu bi koi. Ini kebdi call panat teri le abdi nsi bide. Okay, sir. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's go on. You Tamil is not easy. You are easy. You are not easy. You are English is not easy. You are not easy. I understand, uh, Jason. But the thing is, like, we have all the peoples, right? We have all uh, different uh, state of peoples and different languages. I can understand. So, yeah. So that's the reason I am taking the common language so that people can understand. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> so uh, the next is like, uh, let's see what can we see as okay, what we have seen as data type. Um, okay, type conversion. Let's see the other one is type conversion. So uh, what I we can we do? Yes, uh, the dictionary, right? The data type. You want? <clears throat> um. You wanted me to take the dictionary as well, okay? <clears throat> yeah, I think we use this table and set. Uh, I think we haven't used dictionary. Let me see what else. Dictionary, okay. Uh, let's see. Dictionary, okay. Might be there in the dictionary, but uh, I'm not sure because if we take all the items, then we will lost on the time. That's a reason I okay. just took a couple of uh, items so that rest can try it by yourself. See, I can tell you an example of. Let's get started on the variables. See when we when when we, when you say that variable huge variables are there. If we wanted to declare for each variable, then we will not have the time. That's the reason. I just I am taking two to three examples so that rest can be taken care by you. Okay, sir. Yeah, perfect. So conversion type conversion. Hope you will have, would have all learned type conversion. What is type conversion? It's a common word which is used in C, C plus plus. 
anywhere inside your language what is type conversion and there are something called two type of type conversions what is the type conversion is what is the process of converting converting a data a type, type conversion data type perfect one data type to another data type another data type okay what what are the two types of type conversions here one is implicit conversion yes no two types of conversions it's commonly called as implicit the other one is explicit what is implicit conversion hey come on guys you would have learned that in c and c++ man without learning that you would have not clear your c or c++ conversion is a common one you would have something heard like convert it's everywhere it's, it's a syntax is used commonly everywhere in all the languages that's what we tell it as implicit conversion and explicit conversion 99 percentage or 90 percentage we work on explicit conversion and implicit convert okay let me tell you what is an implicit conversion before that implicit conversion is nothing but automatic type conversion explicit conversion is nothing but manual type conversion now tell me what is automatic type conversion okay let's let, <clears throat> let me give an example on that so that you people hope you people will understand that um agree uh, go and write uh, the new line say um integer underscore number yeah equal to assign a value any value Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, hundred, whatever you wanted, you can assign it. Yeah. The next line have a one more uh, variable called float underscore number equal to give the float number. Any float number. now in the next line we are going to do a small operation or manipulation here and get that result in a new variable so we can have result equal to equal to int underscore number plus float underscore number plus four yeah plus plus float underscore number underscore number print result what happened it is showing an error is that showing an error where just a second no it's showing that in 15 line number 15 because we have just instead of a square bracket we have used only a normal bracket that's the reason it's showing an error okay. i just freeze it and we will see it out okay yeah. okay now we got a output of it now you have used something called print result you are just typing the result what we have I did a operation called sum. Now, what I wanted you to do is in the next line print type of result. It is showing us float. Hmm. Why? can anyone tell we have declared a variable data type as in each first one is 17 is integer and then we have declared the variable data type as float what we did here is we just summed up with integer underscore number and float underscore number and we got that result and that we have printed and we wanted to see what is the result it is getting up i mean the data type of it the result what you got 
is in, in the float y can anyone tell what python does here python always converts smaller data types to larger data types to avoid the loss of data remember python always converts smaller data types to larger data type to avoid the loss of data yes sir okay now for example so i'm not sure how many of you got this yeah i know uh, i got this okay it is converting the ink number towards yes. the float and uh, it is making the result as uh, data type yeah. float the reason i told you because the float is the uh, yes. uh, highest Small. no yeah integer is yeah, yeah. float is a smaller data type than the larger data type okay here when you compare to float and integer float is a smaller data type integer is a larger data type python always takes the smaller data type first so this should help all let's go and add a string equal to i mean uh, just uh, you can go and say as a string uh, underscore uh, name or something str underscore name and give a name in a single quote or just give oh no so don't give it as a name let's do that in different way give a number 12 whatever number you want 100 500 or a number yeah you can give that in a single quote i'll tell you why yeah i know you got to uh, oh. integer wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. yeah now go and add a new variable called int underscore number then give a number here yeah we need to add with that yeah yeah uh, what you can do is like just you can go and uh, add both of the guys and had have that new uh, variable as a result okay now let's see what happens we have talked about something called explicit and implicit conversion now let's see what it happens i use something called str name plus str Yes, I cannot compare. See, version the sense we cannot go and apply it manually. What we have done it like we have wantedly wanted to make a integer value as a string. Then it is trying to convert that string value into an integer. It cannot be able to do. It. it clearly says that hey, what you have done is a type error. You cannot declare the integer value into a string, and I cannot do that implicitly. That is a manual way of doing. I cannot do that. if i wanted to do it convert it automatically then you have to give the input properly if you go and remove the single quotes for the value which is put up at uh, line number 23 remove that yeah run this guy there yeah, you go okay so does it make sense you can have something called other print of type of print type of now go and see what it happens showing this integer yep hope this should understand understand by all i still have doubts please let me know see there is two things you need to understand very clearly on the conversion part is like implicit and explicit explicit is something which is automatically taken care by the python itself or any compiler which we go and use it it's not for the python it's for everything language what we use it 
So compiler knows what you have declared has to be taken automatically. When you wanted to do a mistake, instead of giving a string value, go and give an integer, then it throws an error saying like, hey, you have to see it very clearly. What you have declared is not an integer, it's a string. I cannot go and manually change it. That's called implicit. So that shows you an error saying like type error. Right? That's it. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's do an other. Okay. Let, let, I have given difference between explicit and implicit. Now you should have understood. Let's concretely do an example on the explicit conversion. Okay. Now in the new line, I wanted you to go and type something called. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what is that? You can go and declare something called uh, uh, number underscore uh, string. Okay, string value you are going to give it under the number. Again, the same equal to single quotes any number. Okay, in the next line, number underscore integer equal to a number value. Does it make sense? Any number. Okay. In the new line, remember what I have done here. Okay. Before we go and do a type cast, a type conversion, I wanted you to have the print statement here. Print type of number underscore string. Just go and see what is that is coming. Yeah. It's a string value. Okay, got that? What I'm going yeah. to do here is an explicit conversion. Now, I'm going to write an explicit con conversion here. In the next line, number underscore string equal to equal to now I'm going to convert it. STR equal okay. to now I'm going to convert that explicit INT not string int see already i have declared the value as a string now i wanted to convert that into a string now i have a single quotes right now i am going to convert that remove the single quotes and put it as a pure numeric value or integer value open the bracket close the bracket inside the close the, inside inside the brackets you need to go and add the variable as number underscore string what to add c uh, 26 line number 26 the variable name number underscore str yeah, 20 no no number number no you have to declare the variable over there this line number 29 okay. you are reassigning the, the reassigning the value to the same variable so what you are doing is you are converting those values into the variable just you are cut shutting or you are removing the string and you're converting that as an integer yes just purifying the value and filtering it and sending only the integer value okay now yeah, yes. now in the next line i wanted to put you print print type of now put as num underscore string i mean number underscore string now see what is the result you're getting earlier what you got is a string str now oh, let's see what you're getting. Perfect. How did you get it? Yeah, yeah because of we so are converting the string to an integer using. We uh, are converting yeah. the particular string value as an integer, then we are sending it up. Line number 31, right? Result equal to add both the things number underscore string plus number underscore integer and print the value. Yeah, result equal to num string and then print the value. I number 32 print okay. result. Okay. 
you need to print the result then also print a type of result now see what is the data type you are getting print result comma type of result okay what we can do is like remove the type of result first just put print result okay in the next line print type of result awesome now go and run this guy see what happened when you printed at the first time it says it's a string value and you explicitly converted it as an integer Got the spot here. When the result came out, then the value, the type of the value is integer. So now, no, sir. I can understand. Awesome. All right. So, what else we see here? Okay. Now, I've said something about the concept of uh, libraries. Okay, we'll see about the libraries. What are the libraries available here? Hold on. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, uh, one example is already we are looking into it as print. Okay, we'll do one thing. Uh, okay, I have said you about the libraries, right? When I say library in the sense, it's a dynamic link library. When you use something called ash include or import on the top of the header section, we are inheriting the inbuilt classes and utilizing its business logic. So the best example is so far what we have done here is we have used an inbuilt functions here. What is the inbuilt functions? Print is one of the inbuilt functions. We have used an operator called plus symbol. Okay, these and all is an inbuilt functions which is inherited during the runtime or a compiler time, and it gives gives us a result what we have given as an input. Okay, let's see one one example. One example as a user input, and we try to print that from the input. Okay, now. In the new line, you can give us uh, something name equal to name equal to input. Input input is an inbuilt function. Input of enter the name. Remember, input is an inbuilt function. We are going and inheriting from the library and utilizing this input functions to get the user inputs during runtime. Okay. In the next line, you need to print. You entered and the value of it. Single quotes. Your name okay. is. Your name is. Uh, you are, your name is. No, no, no. Just type you are. Whatever you are, your name is here. Yeah. Because we are getting the input name from the during the runtime. So you know. Yeah. Your name is. 
yeah come here after the single quote we need to put the comma here yeah. yeah exactly comma name the variable has to be put here yes and now you can okay you can write it just type the name here yeah enter the name yeah there you go so this is a small example wanted to show you that we are you are we are using in lot of input functions that comes from the libraries which we do on import on the top of the header section and this works during the compiler the compiler ha aajkal ladka kitna kala kar hai ha okay bye 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 Aditi, if you don't mind, you can do it. Kalakar, muted. Kalakar, ki unke paida kiye ho, wo kalakar hai. Agar us us kalakar. Aditi, 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 please go ahead and mute here. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. as an input so it works it's works through the library which is already a predefined one so during the run time it goes and reads as an interpreter line by line will be read and executed so by the moment it goes and sees something called input and it goes and gets the value which is given inside a bracket and that will be printed for asking for the input and you have to go and give your input and that will be printed in the next line it's a straight forward syntax Can anyone have any questions on the import part? That is adding a library, understanding how the input functions works, like print, like integer, like anything what we go and declare through the compiling part, it works. Anyone have any questions on this? Sir. conditions part uh, like conditions in the sense we have lot of conditions right uh, we have loop we have if conditions and all those stuffs let's do something condition quick condition uh, in the next line we can go and declare uh, any of the variables like uh, you can put something uh, easy variable like uh, number equal to any of the number okay in the next line uh, put a condition if space number greater than 0 uh, colon greater than 0 colon print number is greater than 0 that can be in some case This is an if condition. Greater than zero. Okay. Now run this guy. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Now call Pandra. We just class. Twelve thirty one nine. Number is greater than. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now instead of one one two. I wanted you to put some, something called zero. No, okay. Okay. Let's let's have this one. You can change the number as instead of zero, you can change what are the number greater than zero.
number 39 okay nine number 40 you need to go and say like else else colon in the next line you have to use print number is not greater than zero Yeah, it is. Okay, now go and change five instead of five. We can put a zero. So hope you can see the difference. When you go and change the number greater than zero, it prints the first statement. When it doesn't match with your condition, it goes and prints into the second statement. Okay, it's a straightforward condition. Just we have declared it. Let's do one more thing as well. In line number 40, put enter. Before the else, put enter. 40, yeah, awesome. Now, you need to use else if. E-L-I-F. Else if or L-I-F? L-I-F. We can we can call it as else if, but in uh, Python we call it as elif. I mean, when we go and write something called uh, else if, we have to say elif. Okay. Okay. Elif, then your condition. And what your condition? No, elif. You have to write the condition, boss. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of a colon, you need to put something called number greater. Ah, okay, number. Uh, less than uh, not less than let's have greater than uh, not or we can make it as not equal to okay. lesser than or greater than we, you can put it as okay either way not equal to zero or do one thing sorry uh, you can put it as else if number equal to equal to zero equal to zero sorry not double equal to single equal to zero yeah. print the number is zero sir ellipse that means sir okay that's else if you are okay what you're doing is like if you have a single condition then you have to use if condition alone and I every it is positive statement you should have negative okay, okay, oh sorry uh, then because we need, yeah, we need to give double equal here yeah yes yeah uh, so aditya it's like when you use a single statement it's a positive condition and if okay. you have positive and negative condition you need to use if else and if you have multiple conditions with your negative conditions then you have to use else if for else if in python we say it as elif e l i f it's in a short form okay okay sir okay Yes, does it make sense? Do anyone have any questions on this multiple part of if conditions? No, sir. Anyone else have any questions? Before I could move to the next one. So we have just looking into the conditions part by using an if condition and uh, this one. We'll see about uh, Next thing is what is that? Is there for loop? Let's see the for loop part. Uh, okay. Uh, in the line number 44, the new line, go and declare a variable, any variable, and add an array values to it. Okay, a variable. Declare a variable and go and assign or add a array values equal to square brackets you need to go and assign multiple values 
ओके आई गेस या या इधर भी स्ट्रिंग और न्यूमेरिक और हाउ मोड़ यू वांटेड यू कंटिन्यू करें नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन यू आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट एन फॉर लूप फॉर इट फॉर इक्वल फॉर डिक्लेयर अ वेरिएबल एस ये Okay. A in B. A okay. in B. And next line, you have to put print A. I think uh, do we need to use next line? Required? No, not required. No colon is not required at all for this. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. End of the statement is colon. Yeah, sorry. Yes. The right, you are right. Print. Yeah. So what we are doing here is line number forty-four to forty-six. From line number forty-four, we have declared a variable y and assigned an array value twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and we are trying to loop the b value and trying to get each of the index and print that one by one. Go and run it. <coughs> Does that make sense? Do you have any questions? Uh, for a in b, what is the meaning of this? Uh, we are using, uh, we are getting values from b. I, yeah, a I, in b means we are trying to get each of the value that is index zero, one, two, three. Values from B and adding that to A. Each value will be looped one by one, and we are trying to fetch the B value one by one and passing that to the A. And from the A, we are trying to print it in a sequence way. Okay. Okay. A in B in the sense we are trying to get sequence value of B. And adding that to A, and the value of A will be printed out immediately. That is, B layer ka value na pano na twelve, thirteen, fourteen layer ka po first run pano, run pano B layer ka first value tuiki A ka kurtro. That is twelve layer value kurtro. That is print pani tondro. Apo A empty ayado. Next time varu modi B or second value tuiki A ka kurtro. And the A layer value na arko po next day thirteen layer ko thirteen print ayado. अधिकारूपूँ நமக்கு வந்து தெரியும் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இன்டெக்ஸ்ல வந்து ஜீரோல வந்து இந்த வேல்யூ இருக்குன்னு ஈஸியா எடுத்துலாம் 100 வேல்யூ இருக்கு 200 வேல்யூ இருக்கு எப்படி பிரிண்ட் பண்ணுவீங்க அத நீங்க ஜீரோ போட வேண்டிய முடியாது 1 போட வேண்டிய முடியாது அப்ப அந்த மாதிரி டைம்ல லூப் யூஸ் பண்ணி சீக்வென்ஸா எத்தனை அரேல நம்ம வேல்யூ கொடுத்திருக்கோமோ அத்தனை வேல்யூ பிரிண்ட் பண்றோம் ஓகே ஓகே இப்போ உங்களுக்கு பர்టిక్యులர் வேல்யூ தேவை இப்போ 10 வேல்யூ இருக்குன்னா இப்போ 12 13 14 இருக்குன்னா எனக்கு 14th வேல்யூ மட்டும் தான் தேவனா அப்ப யூஸ் பண்ணனும் a ஸ்கொயர் பிராக்கெட் போட்டு 2 ன்னு போடணும் அந்த இன்டெக்ஸ் வேல்யூ போட்டனா அந்த இன்டெக்ஸ் எந்த பர்టిక్యులர் வேல்யூ தேவையோ அப்பதான் அந்த இன்டெக்ஸ் வேல்யூ யூஸ் பண்ணுவோம் எனக்கு பர்టిక్యులர் வேல்யூ தேவ இல்ல எனக்கு எல்லாமே தேவ பிரிண்ட் பண்ணனும்னா ஃபார் லூப் தான் யூஸ் பண்ணுவோம் ஓகே ஓகே புரிஞ்சது ஆசோ சோ டு எனிவன் ஹேவ் எனி क्वेश्चंस So here is a trick. Inside a for loop, we go condition use panla. I mean, inside a for loop, we can use a condition called edge part. Let's do that tricky guy. Go and declare a one more array value. Okay. Uh, gri- uh, next line la. No no no. Next line. Next line. New line le. Idu utrume da bir to. You can have this guy. Forty seven la. You have to go and declare a one more c equal to something an array value. 
அதுல வந்து யூ கேன் கோ அண்ட் டிக்ளேர் வாட் எவர் நம்பர் யூ வாண்ட் ஓகே இன் தி நெக்ஸ்ட் லைன் யூ ஆர் गोइंग டு ரைட் ஃபார் அகைன் ஃபார் i in or uh, c whatever i in c yeah i in c print i colon put it print i yeah now now in the next line print i kapro else colon else colon print no items idhu kapro items illa appdi solrudhu so what it is going to do is gets completed you're going to print us saying like there are no more items to get added just run it yeah it's not only the looping process where we can go and our condition saying like once the loop is completed we can tell to the user that hey the loop is completed and no more items is fetched out fetched from the variables does it make sense yeah <coughs> yes okay and uh, what else loop we have we have uh, okay we have one more loop called while loop right while for loop. and while loop. yes so better example for while Uh, go and declare a variable as an integer you can go and declare a variable equal to whatever you wanted to give the integer let's give it okay you declared a variable as u equal to 19 and now use a variable i mean uh, use an inbuilt function called while while u space u uh you can print yeah you can print the u value itself let's see what happens print okay. u Oh, infinite loops. <laughs> yeah. Wait. What happened? Wait. Uh, Did it stop? Uh, okay. How many nineteen has come over here? One. <laughs> We can't count. Exactly. So we we have used the the while while condition. We will not be knowing it. it So if the value is is always true, it's keep on going until or unless you say it is a false. Does it make sense? Okay. Yeah. Currently, what we did is we made the loop as a true. So it's going as an infinite loop. So we have we have to make sure that the loop what we are giving is. has to be cut down at one point how can we cut down at one point okay similar same thing while you have used u is equal to greater than 15 okay accepted and you should write a condition saying like if condition in the next to the print u you are printing right sir okay before you print it uh, let's uh, let's do one thing you you can add the if condition yes if u equal to equal to 
do we do what i need we to can... use here yeah exactly you, you need to use it there only u equal to equal to 19 you can break it u equal to equal to 19 colon break next line break okay now run this guy and see you can remove that print u yeah break is a jump statement right we can use this to exactly. pass the yeah no. so what we have told here is we are first statement is while u greater than 15 yes it's a true value we never said to break anywhere or we never said to stop anywhere so that's the reason in the previous one it keep on running infinitely now we have clearly said a condition hey if the value is 90 then immediately break and stop it and it the while loop gets stopped immediately no sir so what is that we have used here yeah we have also used if condition if else else condition and then we have used a for loop for loop with the condition saying like else and then we have used a while and by using a while we have used a condition of if as well as a break statement all right do anyone have any questions here no sir all right sir uh let's go for a break hope it's 10:30 now and please do come back by 10:45 we'll get and how to use your modules uh those type data types So these are all is required. So I just covered for most of the portions. Let's see what else can be done. Is like uh, okay, we will have to look into the object-oriented programming in the Python. Yeah, that's the major one. But I'm not sure uh, if I take that object-oriented, people will sleep off for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a pretty back with C C plus plus concepts. So let's see. Come back yeah, by ten. Yeah, compared to some other Python is easy to learn. Oops. Yeah, when compared to C and C plus plus, Python is very straightforward. It doesn't have much things to get looped. It's a very straightforward uh, snippets. Yes. All right. Please come back by ten uh, forty-five. We'll get started on that. Okay. All right. Thank you all. right uh what else we have so we need to look into the other one okay let's get started on this one uh what else we need to get started okay i said about object oriented program yes 
why we say python is an object oriented program anyone can tell me why the process I, has been the process has been um, dependent on the objects we are given No, I I didn't get you, Jason. What is that? You need to get. I think the process has been done based on the objects we are using. The what does it mean? What are you telling? You can tell that in Tamil. What is that object? Object. ஒரு <laughs> we call it as an object oriented program so in the object oda attributes and behavior nam use pandromo and the language oda attributes and behaviors ellame use pandromo object ku then we call it as an object oriented program if you don't use the object oriented program na we don't use any objects any entities we use pandromo adala a simple way so whenever any languages which uses objects and classes in turn the object is said to be a attributes nothing but your entity and the behavior of the object then it is clearly said that we are using an object oriented program that makes sense yes uh, but can you give me an uh, example for that example for that what attributes okay let's say attributes uh the live example is uh, you can give it as if a manushanga irukanga nanchinga any human being that's an attribute any human being avangalukku or behavior irukku okay avanga behavior base panni da we will be uh, analyzing what it is in let's say avangala enna seiya mudiyum Yes. Oh, yes. Or let's say they can dance, they can sing, they can do whatever they want. That's called behavior. Okay. Anti book na sulla or human being ke, on the name sulla, on the age sulla, on the beard ka na, on color sulla, etc. Idala anti book sa mod anti books. Recognize pandra ka na. Easy recognize pandra. Yes. Okay. For example, if one day. That's a Shrina. So Shrina, then that is name. This is another attribute. Name and that is another attribute. And and my age, in our age, na, and my age, in our color, na, I wear my skin color white or black, and that is another one. It's an attribute. And my behavior. If I speak, na, I speak. 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 So the object to use for me, we will be writing classes. Sure. I understand. Hello. Yep. Uh, Did I know where? Ah, okay, sir. Who is this? Okay. All right. So, see. Uh, the ma- the major or the mainly used for object oriented programming is we need to follow some certain set of rules for this object oriented program so that's the reason we go and write some objects and for the objects we do and create a class and that particular class will have its attributes and behavior okay va ipo ninge ninge yaravad example kudunga anyone wants to give an example based on the object oriented programming let's say it can be an attribute given example on the attribute and behavior any example of object oriented mm. okay ipo or number eduthukrom 
ஒன் ஆர் டூங்கிற மாதிரி ஒரு நம்பர் அந்த நம்பரை ரெக்கக்னைஸ் பண்ணுறது நம்ம ஒரு வேல்யூ இண்டிஜருங்கிற ஒரு வேல்யூ யூஸ் பண்ணி அதை ரெக்கக்னைஸ் பண்ணுறோம் ஒரு <laughs> 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 ஓகேவா அந்த நம்பர்ன்றதுக்கு வந்து யூ ஆர் கிவிங் அண்ட் திஸ் ஒன் டேட்டா டைப் அதுவும் ஒரு ஆட்டிபியூட் ஓகே பிஹேவியர்ன்றது என்னன்னா இப்போ இந்த நம்பரை வந்து இஃப் ஐ கோ அண்ட் டெல் 1 பிளஸ் 1 டு தட்ஸ் எ பிஹேவியர் ஆஃப் இட் தட்ஸ் அன் ஆபரேஷன் வி ஆர் டுயிங் எ பிஹேவியர் டிஃபரன்ஸ் இருக்கு நான் அத கொஞ்சம் மாத்தி Yes, so everyone do a mistake it's no one is perfect in this world this is our quote something ekame keep your steps start understanding learn foundation what is easy for you yes, to know where to put where to put to put yeah okay anyone else have any questions on the object oriented program where you see classes where you see objects objects nothing but your entities okay now tell me by using an object oriented programming we have couple of things which we use inside an object oriented inheritance polymorphism abstraction abstraction encapsulation encapsulation what is the reason why we need to use this inside an object oriented programming namu use pandradhana i told you encapsulation polymorphism inheritance and cap abstraction idella use pandrala inda classes la edhuk use pandrom or structure ga ga or program oda olunga or structure okay set of rules and idendrathu okay irukk illa nu solla but idella use pannanaala enna kadikkum what is use if i go and use all this for inheritance polymorphism data abstraction the data are very secure and it is shareable your code can be shared within the classes and it can be reused okay you have a code from print a irukum adu oru vaati eduthnalum multiple times thevayana eduthu share pannikka mudiyum and idu secure ah irukum idella use pandradhanaala inheritance polymorphism encapsulation abstraction idella use pannradhanaala the class slice is done and the code is more efficient and easy to understand so that we can share this code and without knowing this encapsulation data apps to use encapsulation we will not be knowing, knowing when to use data abstraction and all the steps you should know the object oriented programming and you also should know the code what it is written is a data encapsulation na illana vand data abstraction na illa polymorphism na you should know it then only you can easily identify this particular code or a method or a function what it is written is a polymorphism and this particular snippet or at this particular code says about the data abstraction idella irukku now tell me what is data abstraction don't give me the the, the, the theory kudukka i know it what is data safe and secure a data is safe and secure uh, into the concept theory what is data abstract mari kelikirunu 
பாதி பேர் கிட்ட சைலண்டா இருக்கீங்க அப்படியெல்லாம் இல்ல சார் கேள்வி கேட்டாதான் சார் எங்களுக்கு ஏதாவது யோசிக்க தோணும் அப்பதான் ஏதாவது ஒரு வகையில தப்பா பதில் சொன்னாலும் கூட தப்பாட்டாவது ஒரு பதில் சொல்லணும்னு ஏதாவது தோணும் நம்ம தப்பா என்ன திருத்துறதுக்காவது ஒரு சான்ஸ் இருக்கும் அந்த வகையில நீங்க கேக்குற கேள்வி இது கரெக்டா எங்கே மத்தவங்க எங்கே ரெஸ்ட் ஆல் இஸ் ஸ்லெப் ரெஸ்ட் ஆல் இஸ் மென் ஃபார் ஹேவிங் தி பிரஞ்ச் ஐ டோன்ட் see them ரொம்ப நேரம் அமைதியா இருக்குது வந்து ஐ see you as she is tam silent wahid satish parthiman navin hey navin mohammad hey sir என்னுடைய <laughs> 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 which village are you from patiba in the village patiba inga tamamle district somunda puttur tamamle district sir somunda puttur ramna ramna district ah illa illa tamamle district sir ramna mari okay 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 hey uh, welcome patiba i belong to uh, this velu uh, i am a velu guy nice to meet you Uh, and i belongs to uh, nearby uh, there is uh, something called padavedu you would have heard it yes sir yeah so i belongs to a village called padavedu which is near to uh, trinamal nanda vasil kelli pattirukiya hmm yes sir nalla pakkam da sir yes aanga pakkam da sir aanga anga da sir illa irukya என்னது <laughs> 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 பண்ணிதான் <laughs> 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 ரீட் பண்ணது அந்த மாதிரி அது டிரான்ஸ்லேட்டர்ங்க டிரான்ஸ்லேட்டர் இஸ் அக்செப்டட் டிரான்ஸ்லேட்டர் ஓகே பட் எதுக்காக நம்ம யூஸ் பண்ணோம் டேட் அப்ஸ்ட்ராக்ஷன் வாட் இஸ் தி ரீசன் ஐ அக்செப்ட் தி தியரி வாட் யூ ஆர் டெல்லிங் இஸ் லைக் சி நீங்க என்ன இன்டர்னா சொல்றீங்கனா யூ ஆர் गिविंग an answer பட் வாட் இஸ் எக்ஸாக்ட் வே நான் கேக்குறேனா சொல்றது கரெக்ட்டா அது லெட்ஸ் ஏ நீங்க எப்படி சொல்றீங்க டேட்டா ஹைட் பண்றதுக்காக யூஸ் பண்ணோம் எஸ் ஆ டேட்டா ஹைட் பண்ணி எதுக்கு ஹைட் பண்ணது Okay, I'll tell uh, you. Uh, okay, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, now we have a data set. Now we have a user. We have a user. I don't want to say that. Simply because it's a simplification of data. Okay, simplification of data. Okay, simplification of data. What is the simplification, simplification of data? Why do you see it as simplification of data? Let's say the best example I can tell you. No, it's not a best, it's a better. நீங்க எல்லாரும் விண்டோஸ் அப்ளிகேஷன் யூஸ் பண்றீங்க ஐ மீன் விண்டோஸ் ஓஎஸ் யூஸ் பண்றீங்க கரெக்ட்டா இந்த ஓஎஸ் சிஸ்டம் முன்னாடி இருக்கிறது யூஸ் பண்றது எல்லாமே விண்டோஸ் ஓகே 
okay oh. what happens the moment you go and do something a click you make something a click even on your windows if you go and double click on the folder the folder gets open right yes sir yes but what it happens at the background there is something running called ms dos every windows pen only ms dos run aitu da theriyuma ama the windows os ninga ui paakkaradhukku pinnala dos microsoft disk operating system solittu one run aitu irukku அது என்ன பண்ணுனா நீங்க போய் டபுள் கிளிக் பண்ணும் போது பின்னால ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா ஒரு கோட் எழுதும் அந்த கோட் வந்து எழுதின உடனே அது வந்து மிஷின் லாங்குவேஜ் கன்வெர்ட் ஆகும் அந்த மிஷின் லாங்குவேஜ் ஒன்ஸ் இட்ஸ் கன்வெர்ட் அஸ் மிஷின் லாங்குவேஜ் தட்ஸ் கிவ்ஸ் அன் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் டு த எம்எல் ஹே ஹி ஹஸ் த காய் யூசர் காய் ஹஸ் டபுள் கிளிக் டெட் யூ नीड टू गिव इट ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் வாட் नीड्स टू बी डन தென் தி எம்எல் ரெஸ்பான்சஸ் ஹவ் தி எம்எல் ரெஸ்பான்சஸ் பைனரி ஃபார்மட்ல ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் பண்ணும் ஒன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஜீரோஸ் sorry ஜீரோஸ் அண்ட் ஒன்ஸ் ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் பண்ணும்போது அகைன் இட் கன்வெர்ட்டட் டு தி யுஐ அண்ட் தி யுஐ ல நம்மளுக்கு என்ன தேவை இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் நம்ம டபுள் கிளிக் பண்ணிருக்கோம் நம்மளுக்கு ஓபன் ஆகும் அதுதான் நம்மளுக்கு தேவை இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் நம்மளுக்கு இர்ரிலவென்ட்டான இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் தேவை இல்ல வாட் இஸ் தட் இர்ரிலவென்ட் வி டோன்ட் नीड தோஸ் ஜீரோஸ் அண்ட் ஒன்ஸ் வாட் தி ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் வாட் वी आर रिक्वेस्टिंग வாட் தி ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் இஸ் கமிங் फ्रॉम தி மெஷின் இட் டசன்ட் नीड அட் ஆல் தட் கேன் பி ஹைடட் விச் இஸ் இர்ரிலவென்ட் நம்மளுக்கு தெரிய தேவை இல்ல அந்த இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் நம்மளுக்கு ஆல் वी नीड இஸ் ரிலவென்ட் what we are double click the folder that needs to be opened that is information which is relevant to the user that needs to be sent that is what it is happens on the data abstraction mm and other thevayana information the user ku theva adu motta dhan tharanum theva illa adha tharatha irana avasam kedaiyad enak double click pandrana enak folder open avana that's the information i need i don't need how the how it is opening at the background and the information la vechi naana panna poran enak edhume theriyadhu illa Mm. business logic na inga na double click pandra folder it has to get open that is what the relevant is so data abstraction what it does enakku thevaya information enak kuduthirudhu adhe mari background la yaarku machine language ku enna information thevai zeros and ones avanukku thevai thevaya information zeros and ones la kudukudhu avladhu that that makes sense yes okay now tell me what is encapsulation Mm-hmm. Yes. Solve. Can you tell me what is encapsulation? Try one. Give a try. I want you people to give a try. Can you give a try? Just hold on for a minute. Hello. Yes, I'm sorry. All right. Yeah. Tell me what is an encapsulation. Yes, I wanted uh, someone else to try it. Malni, Yuvashri. You people are so silent today. So I wanted you people to give a try. Hello. Are you able to hear my voice? Yes. 
all right so i'm still alive yes, i'm still alive all right thank you someone has confirmed me that i'm still alive all right uh yeah anyone else wants to give a try what is encapsulation okay i think everyone has slept everyone is ready for this uh, weekend i wanted you people to go through with oops concepts first before i could get started on the classes it's easy for me to get started on the classes and tell you what is a class what is an object how to create an object and how to instantiate your class what's an attribute and behavior of that particular class and i can tell you and i can also use inheritance uh, polymorphism encapsulation abstraction but if i keep saying you this is what the snippet is this is what the code is and this is how it works it is not going to help it out i wanted you people to what it is and what is the example of it you have to give me a live example what is an encapsulation data abstraction polymorphism you have to explain me the different polymorphism and that to use and when to use okay i wanted you people to understand a lifetime example and give me an example in the next session that's your homework and videos here go through what we have taken on today's session on the python the basic concepts with different uh, conditions okay Okay. I don't want to uh, uh, keep on uh, pushing you or keep on giving you enough uh, data inside your mind. Where your mind says it's enough, man. You have given in, in, in a lot of information that I want to recollect. I'm giving a gap on that. Or you want me to take uh, what is a Python? I mean, the classes and objects oriented programming enough. I'm okay with that. Even I'm ready to take what's a Python? I mean, Oops concept of. You wanted a time to learn. Go ahead. Or you wanted to go ahead? Yeah. For myself, yes. it is okay. For other side of it. So you you are good with uh, this one encapsulation, polymorphism, and rest of the things, Giri? I mean, uh, we can we can learn today, Mister. No, I didn't get you. Uh, you wanted time to learn that and come back and say that this is what you have understand. No, no, we can go to the classes. Is all is okay if I go on today's session with uh, what is a class, what is an object, and all the stuffs? Yes. We are yes, in this. Selfa, what is in terenji ke virumla? Is that right? function <laughs> இதெல்லாம் வந்து பாராமீட்டர்ஸ் இப்படி தான் அப்பணும் சொன்னா நீங்களே எழுதுறீங்க பட் when will you know that this particular class it has this behavior and this has this attribute அது புரிஞ்சா மட்டும் தான் நீங்க போகும்போது எழுதும்போது கிளாஸ் அண்ட் டிக்ளேர் பண்ணும்போது you will know what behavior or what attribute has to be added ன்னு தெரியும் அப்படி தெரிய வரலனா you will know only the syntax you will not know what is the real at the background of it அதனால தான் நான் எவ்ரி டைம் கீப் ஆன் டெல்லிங் யூ நோ வாட் இஸ் த ரியல் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் இட் அதாவது என்கேப்சுலேஷன் என்ன டேட் அப்சக்ஷன் என்ன பாலம் ஆஃப்ஸ் என்னன்றது தெரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டீங்கன்னா இட் வில் பி வெரி யூஸ்ஃபுல் இப்போ நான் போயிட்டு ஒரு கோடு எழுதும் போது யூ வில் கம் அண்ட் டெல் மீ தட் ஹே யூ ஹவ் யூஸ்ட் அ டேட் அப்சக்ஷன் ஹியர் பட் இன்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் தட் வை டோன்ட் பி யூ கோ அண்ட் யூஸ் சம்திங் கால் என்கேப்சுலேஷன் ஆர் பாலம் ஆஃபிசம் பாலம் ஆஃபிசம் யூ யூஸ் பண்ணும் போது ஓவர் லோடிங் ஓவர் ரைடிங் அண்ட் கான்செப்ட் யூஸ் பண்ணும் போது யூ கேன் டெல் மீ where to use overloading where to use overriding if you don't understand that concept if i simply say that ning code eludhi poidinga execute aidum you will not know where it is overloading and where it is overriding endru theriyam poidu kadasi irukku and after so many years after so many years kalichi ninga vandu paathalum you will not know the difference between overloading and overriding it's just i'm giving an example 
ஏன் இதெல்லாம் சொல்றேன்னா ரியல் டைம்ல ஐம் லுக்கிங் அவுட் த பீப்புள்ஸ் ஐம் அண்ட் ஆர்கிடெக்ட் இன் திஸ் கம்பெனி கம்பெனில இருக்கும் போது என்ன பாக்குறேன்னா ஃப்ரெஷர்ஸ் வராங்க எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸும் வராங்க அவங்க கோடு எழுதுறாங்க எப்படி கோடு எழுதுறாங்கன்னா தி கோ அண்ட் காப்பி த கோட் ஃப்ரம் த எக்ஸிஸ்டிங் கோட் ஏற்கனவே இருக்க கோட்ல இருந்து காப்பி பண்ணி போட்டுறாங்க இல்லைன்னா கூகுளில் சர்ச் பண்றாங்க பட் கடைசி வரைக்கும் அவங்களுக்கு தெரியுது இல்லை வேர் டு யூஸ் வென் டு யூஸ் த கோட் ப்ராப்ளி அப்படின்ட்டு தெரியுது இல்லை Sorry, I'm extremely sorry, Aditya. I'm, I'm totally Bulgayar. I say, uh, Tamil, you can talk about it. Yes, sir. My language, my language, sir, is <laughs> Hindi and English. Sir. Yeah, very good. I'm sure that 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 I'm sure for people don't understand sorry sir see. yeah sorry sir right. they that's a that's okay i'm just joking man see what i am telling is i have seen people as an as it i recruit people from outside for the company mnc company so what happens is like i have seen people they just go and copy the code with an existing code what we have already or just they go and copy the code from the google they will not be knowing what needs to be done without copying it what happens if tomorrow world i mean tomorrow the server of google has crashed so 90 to 95% of people has to go out and the people don't think in a way where we have already an inbuilt functions readily available all we need to just go and use that and use train so that we can go and write it we don't do that what we do is we think we are more smart enough so that we can just go type that in a google copy that paste it and best just tweak it however we need it and that runs it at least okay that is accepted you at least you are using that in a smart way and you are putting it but i have seen few people they don't even change the name of the variables what it is put in put up in the google they just go and copy that and put it and try to run that so the 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 thing where it goes wrong is like they are not ready to understand how the code flow works we should understand like an interpreter line by line code has to be understood then only the experience gets into the next level where something goes wrong on the code we can blindly tell this is the area where it goes wrong if you go and put on your snippet go and change your tweak the code over there in a particular class this will get resolved or else what will happen is we need to go and have a break point in each of the step you want run each of the line and find it where the code goes wrong and that's going to eat your entire day you should be smart worker as well as a hard worker as well so hard worker is in the sense you need you should know how to use your syntax syntax should be by default known by you it's not that you just go and copy the syntax in the google and put that and get the that run that will not work at all so right that makes sense yes sir perfect all right so i wanted uh, okay last time before uh, last two sessions went uh, off i didn't get any feedback from you people it's hardly of more than uh, five sessions today is the sixth or seventh session i believe so just wanted to quickly get a feedback on that session so far what you have understand or you have any concerns on the sessions what it has been taken so far am i fast or am i wanted to change my way of taking how is that you wanted just a concern you can have nothing புரிஞ்சுக்க <laughs> கஷ்டப்பட்டு தான் புரிஞ்சுக்கிறோம் 
Yes. We need to communicate to others, right? Yes, sir. Let's say we know Tamil only. I'm just giving you uh, example. As we know only Tamil, when you get into some other company, any of the companies, and you wanted to communicate to other people, the other people in the sense they might be into different uh, states. We cannot go and tell tell them or convey them in our own language, saying like this has to be done. They will not be able to understand. The, the only thing they will be able to understand and easily dwell with us is by using our English. So when we do communicate and make them comfortable, they will also be more comfortable and they will also help us and support us. It's a mutual understanding. That's a common language is brought here as an English. That's the reason. So the request know. is yeah. The request is you. It's not a mandatory that uh, everyone has to be fluent in English. you can get started talking in english let it be a wrong a right whatever it may be all the uh, end of the point is like we need to communicate what we have understood so that the opponent has to understand that's it it's not has to be a proper english it can be tanglish okay okay yeah yeah what else what else the concern you have what else the concern in the sessions so for how the oh, sessions no went well Yes, sir. six sessions has gone so far. How have you people understood what it has been taken? See, it's almost we are in. It's we we are nearing to the end of. Uh, we are going to uh, this batch is getting closed soon, right? So we need to get uh, end of uh, by completing with our data analytics part. So probably we'll get started on that as well. So before we get completed, I wanted you people to understand so far what we have taken on HTML, SQL, Python, and the data analytics. So that's the reason I'm keep on asking that is the session is understandable by you all? Are you able to grasp it? Are you able to get that informations practically? That is what is required. Why it always says yes, and I say him in a thumbs up. Okay. No one has any concerns at all. No concerns. So it's all like positive feedback, no negative feedback at all. Malni has left. Oh, I think. I think she has issues. some internet issues or something. Okay. Um. No concerns. No negative feedbacks. It's all positive feedbacks. So I can take it as all positive feedbacks that I am taking in a good way, so that people are able to understand it, and they are practically into knowledge. Yes. Okay. Who else says yes? Who else says yes? Bala ko says yes. Okay. I think it's negative in here to say. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Okay, Darni says yes. Navin, Navin, what man went for having your brunch or lunch? Huh? Uh, no, I am here only. Yeah, what happened? Okay, you didn't say any concerns. Do you have any concerns at all? Actually, uh, I am understanding well. I am understanding well, and I don't have any concerns. Right, that's it for my side. Because I already completed the Python course, so I don't have any doubts. Okay, okay. Fine. Also, I have Sorry. some HTML CSS experience. I also okay. have HTML and the CSS experience, but uh, there is too much to learn. And yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, from know, education, yeah, everything, uh, from education, we will we will learn like this only. This much uh, from ten percent to twenty percent only we can learn from education. But from the yeah. experience only, we have to increase our knowledge, like real time yes. projects and. Uh, um by working in the production servers and etc etc now uh, from the, that only we can learn more and more yes you are right uh, so i don't any i don't complain and i don't uh, want any come uh, what is it uh, concerns from this education like classes we can learn only this much only from the classes so and that is well and uh, i can learn more And I do learn some new things from this class. 
Aditya Gupta, yes sir, you have any concerns sir, let me start with Aditya Gupta. Sir, the no, reason sir. is, just uh, focusing on individual is like I wanted everyone over here has to understand completely what it has been taken in a practical way. If anyone comes back and says that what he has not or she has not understood for that particular session, then it's a complete loss for not only for me, for everyone. Because I wanted everyone as get an 100 percentage of result when they go out of this thing. Okay. Jason, you can go ahead and mute your. Okay. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Aditya ji, Bolo ji. Yes, Aditya, you are speaking. We are not able to hear voice. I think he's on mute. Okay. And Balakrishnan, yes, sir. Sir, we? Sir? So far, so. So, the voice is not audible. So, so far, things are good. Hello, sir. Can you hear me, sir? No, uh, so far, are you able to hear my voice? No? Yeah, I can yeah, hear yeah. You, uh, Bala. Yeah, yes, sir. So, is all things are fair? Is all, yes, sir. Uh, are you able to grasp things? Do you have any no, concerns sir. so far? No, 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 no. Awesome. Thank you. Dharani. Yes, Dharani. Thank you. Any concerns can be addressed. As Jason said that he has a language where is that a way can be translated. Some, some, somewhere I can translate it, uh, but not on all the parts, on all the areas. So I try to try to translate. No, no concerns. It's all right. Okay, so Dharni, uh, how, how about the POCs and uh, how about the homeworks? Have you are you able to work on the things? Are you able to get the results? Is that are you able to understand what it has been taken as a practical way, or do you have any other concerns? You have any saying like? Yes, sir, it's understandable. Uh, uh, I am I actually I'm looking for a real time project. Is it available? Okay, what when you say a real time, what kind of uh, real time projects? So, in uh, which language and with which particular domain or technology, what you're talking about? Python also. Uh, yeah, sometimes we want uh, I mean, practical aspects to do these things, how it works on the uh, real time projects. Uh, you just give me an outlet of everything and but while we working in the real time projects only we will get to understand and get more knowledge about that particular sessions in uh, python also how it works in the back end i mean how it uh, to be a part in a uh, um, machine learning how it uh, works in uh, machine learning so i'm just curious okay. about uh, that area agreed but uh... To be frank, you know, we have a time cons constraint. Uh, we have only three hours of session on every each of the Sundays. So, what my aim is like, instead of getting into an ad ad uh, advanced level, first thing is like, we wanted to make sure the base has to be get ready. I mean, it has to be very, very strong. Then the advance will be very easy for you people to go ahead and work on that. That's the reason when I get started, I make sure that I give you a practical session. And once it is done, on the practical session, I wanted you people to go and do your homework as a POC. When I say POC, it's not one and all so far I've given is a live practical one. Okay. When I say it's a live practical one in the sense, CRUD, when I see C R U D CRUD operation, it's nothing but you go and create, read, update, and delete. Right. So this is the word CRUD everywhere any application you take it 
what we all do is like we just go first and foremost we just go and create first read it we create it we go and update the existing data we go and uh, insert the new one and all those stuffs if it doesn't need we remove it okay this is a practical thing any application you go and work on that you ask a practical where you wanted to have from the start and from the end no here if someone wants to try it out let's do this i have started with html remember it's yes. something called a design part yeah i wanted you people to go through with something called bootstrap bootstrap is a readily available classes where you just need to go and inherit only the class of the bootstrap and get used to it i wanted you people to go and design a small application where the first page should have a login it's nothing but your username and password and the link should have in the moment i go and click something called when i go and put something called username and password and click on the sign in or submit it has to take me to the home page the home page should have menus and the menus can be home a uh, menu you should have two tabs should be there inside a home page one is called about us it's something where we to have go and say what it does this application and something another tab should have something called register users now the registered users should have all the information of the users or an employee where they can go and feed that and get the users users to be get logged into the portals only two pages okay one is login page the other one is home page does it make sense uh, dharni and uh, all yeah sir yeah yes sir what is yes, now the tricky part is okay now the tricky part is okay. now what i wanted is like now now what i wanted is like you are making it ready through your bootstrap remember you are using a readily available bootstrap okay remember you are using a bootstrap and all things has to be written in the bootstrap everything Sorry, இதுக்கு ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் கரெக்டா பாக்குற மாதிரி இருக்கும் இப்போ எஸ் 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 एवरीथिंग एवरीथिंग दैट्स स्क्रीन एप्लीकेशन ई ऑटोमेटिकली बेस्ड ऑन द रेजोल्यूशन हैज टू वर्क इफ आई यूज दैट सेम थिंग इन माय मोबाइल द रेजोल्यूशन हैज टू वर्क एज एक्सपेक्टेड द डिजाइन शुड नॉट गेट wrapped up or i mean wrapped up in the sense it should not break anywhere i wanted two pages one is uh, login page another one is home page the login page should have your username and password then your forgot password and the submit it validations from the login it has to move into the home page where it should have a two tabs the one tab is says about or about us the second tab should say something called because it's going to be your ui part where you are going to get lots of challenges on working on the resolution when you work on your laptop screen that's different when you work on your monitor screen that's different and similarly it has to work on all the browsers your uh, safari ie edge all the all the browsers it has to work controls the control should be inside your frames i've given one live example it should be a ui part first we'll get started on the ui then we'll slowly get into the server side scripting then does it make sense so first you're going to get started on the ui let's see it up doubt uh, yeah uh, we should uh, connect with it uh... 
Uh, no, not required. Yeah, How I wanted you to work on the UI. Part. I'll tell you this just is a very pages, challenging. Three pages. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because it's going to be a UI page. And it's not easy way because you have different resolutions. Each one will have different resolutions. Some might be using your laptop. Some might be using your uh, uh, monitor. Some might be using your TV connected. All the stuff. So I wanted if I put your code, your HTML or Bootstrap code. You, you what you have to do is like you just need to give me your HTML code or a Bootstrap code. I just copy entire code and put that in my system and run it. It has to run perfectly. I don't see. Any of the controls should go out of the frames. Okay, that's a challenge. Okay, fine. Let's take this challenge. Let's take this as a live example. It's not a, a POC or something else where I wanted you to work. It's something live example. You're going to get started with the UI and get that written from your server side scripting and finally with the code. And once the code is all, I mean, your uh, DB is ready, finally, what we are going to do is like we are going to use this dashboard as an analytics, data analytics. All right. Okay. 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 Darni, is that will, will that work? Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah thank yeah. you. Awesome. So it's going to be a challenging one for you all. So make sure you are using a resolution. So make sure you have to test your resolution in your desktop, you know, tap, and in your mobile. How will you test it? Your Chrome browser is going to help you out. Your Mozilla By browser will help. Yes, exactly. Not only inspecting, you have something called uh, mobile uh, devices, mobile uh, monitoring part. So that will be useful. Okay, yes, I know sir. where it is. Uh, it's something called slideshow or something. However, you wanted, you can go and do it. It's a plugin, man. It's readily available in the Chrome. You can go and add that. From um, uh, web store. Huh? Um, yeah, it's available. Yeah, it's a free web. What's the plugin name? Uh, I believe that should be available once at the room, right? What's the plugin name, sir? One second. Yeah, it's something called screen resolution. Hold on, it comes. Let me check. Click on that F12. You have something called uh, this one, right? What is that? A toggle device toolbar. Uh, so, okay, someone can project. Yes, I'm, I'm Okay, good. you can go ahead. Right. And you can click on the F12. Towards on the top right, you have toggle. Uh, Or you can go and add something called resolution test. That's that's an extension available in the Google Chrome. Resolution extension. Yeah. Uh, you can, yeah. Resolution uh, test is there. S O S O L U. Yeah. Resolution test. Test test counter not no counter. It's test. Yeah. Click enter. That's an extension one. You should be available. Yeah, the, the first one. Yes, exactly. So you can add this extension. Either you can add this extension or click on F12. Just click on F12. Uh, I mean. Okay, at the bottom left, you have something called elements, inspect element. Next to the inspect element, you have something called toggle. Left la, e la, left la, towards your entire left, you have inspect element. America or icon towards your left, towards your left. Sorry, sorry. Ah, yes. Toggle. Ah, uh, toggle. Yes. You can use this. Um, it's what I told. Inspection. Yes. You can, can use this. this. Yes. The resolution will be available. However, you wanted, you can change it. On the top, you can go and give the resolution. Now, if I do this, your controllers, controls, Controls is nothing but your 
text box or your label box should not go out of the frame okay if i squeeze it your automatically your controls has to come down does it make sense i think so see here automatically squeezes down it drops down and uh, you can see the screens yeah too much work all right yes, sir we will try we will try we will try to do our best yes sir okay um what else is there kiri ne okay kiri tara spoke to him yes malni malni do you have yes, any no sir no concern all right thank you uh, so far are you able to understand malni uh, no, yes sir it's understandable only i the sql part is like i don't have i don't have the option to work on it so yeah i feel some difficulties that other sessions are like can easily understand okay yeah okay parthiv uh, yes parthiv parthiv nu ungalku puridha sessions la practical a edukum bodhu or is that difficult face pandringa do you face any difficulties hello yes pati man yes hello audible yes yes sir. i can hear you pati man audible yes yeah, yeah i can hear you pati man yes yes sir ஒன் uh, Right. Yeah. Do you have any concerns? Yeah, please. All right. Yeah. Yes, uh finally um uh, we have with uh, your shri. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Shrinath. Hi. Yeah. So how are you? So how things are going? So are you able to progress on the homework or PGC what has been given? Yeah, it's great. Shrinath. Awesome. So uh so do you have any particular concerns like on anything else what it has been taken so far in the sessions or like sessions all are all right but only uh, one like interview preparation adella matto eppdi interview preparations on the technical end right ah okay uh bill bill okay sure i'll note this point uh id note panikiren i'll also make sure that uh, when we done with the data analytics uh uh the session one of the session will have this technical discussion on uh how the interviews will be eppadi irukum interviews ad eppadi vandha nama mock interview ah eduthu eppadi nama vandha success pandradhu we will see in one session as sure. i and not yeah thank you thanks 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 uh, all right guys so it's a positive feedback it's a good uh, feedback for me it's like uh, it's a fuel for me to run further more for you people and uh, what else uh, is required as i have given a one life project so you hope you will be working on that project you will come back with the ui design based on the ui design we will discuss further on the next step so simultaneously you will be working on this project what it has been taken today but make sure that you also be working on what we have taken on this pipe tam so yeah, this might be this this might be very very uh, you know very basic and you might think that this is very easy but when you go and uh, steps okay i wanted you to sir, work on sir, the ocr yes i did yes sir sir practical sir practical karke sir aapko bhejna hai ya present karna hai कैसे भी हो तो मुझे परवाह नहीं है 
आपको बे, मुझे बेचना तो आप बेच भी सकते हैं टेलीग्राम में आप टेलीग्राम में है ना आप टेलीग्राम में होते हो तो आप मुझे बेच सकते हैं उसमें आपका काम हो गया तो आप उसमें बेच सकते हैं मैं वहाँ से या वापस आपको कुछ गलत हो तो मैं आपको बताऊंगा क्या गलत करने के लिए नहीं तो क्या करेंगे अब बिफोर वी गुट स्टार्ट आपने क्लास को स्टार्ट करने के पहले मैं जो पूछता हूँ होमवर्क और कोई भी इनिशिएट कर सकते हैं जो इनिशिएट करके आप भी प्रसन्न कर सकते हैं आपको दिखा सकते हैं आप सबको और समझ जाएंगे कॉमन रीजन वाई आई वॉन्टेड You have a very good knowledge sharing, and okay, this is a way of writing a better way of writing code. So that's the reason I keep on asking you people to share your uh, uh, desktop, share, present yourself, and show me what you have written, so that I can help you out in a better way. Okay, you have done this, you can write in this way, so that you will also understand the way of writing a better code. All right, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Yeah. All right. What else is there? Uh, we have just seen. Uh, with today's of uh, python starting up with python basics and we have to get into something called the oops concept where i stopped on uh, encapsulation dead abstraction polymorphism inheritance concept so you people will be reading on that and coming with that with a very good example it should be a live example don't give me a theory of it please please don't give me a theory of it i've learned from the school so i know what is a the theory of it i need an example what you have understand what you have understand That is what I needed, right? All right, perfect. So you can um, have a good day and enjoy your day. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I've given six sir, minutes. Sir, sir, can you provide us the recorded recorded video, sir? Yes, uh, you will be provided with the recording of the video. Uh, Pavitra Ma'am will be sharing this video post of this session. Okay, ma'am. Okay, sir. All right, sir. Thank you. Thanks all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Shri Nadal, Didi.